good morning children now you must be thinking we have already done this before isn't it yes we have already done this before it is just a recapitulation it is just a revision just to show that we are doing we have from two digit numbers we are moving on to three digit numbers this i have already shown and you know about this also what this pair diagram or this uh, object stands for what this one stands for and this one you know once again i want to repeat the one box one small box this is called ones the second you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10. so it is called tens and here all together you have 10 boxes here and 10 boxes down so you have all together there are 100 small boxes here and this is called hundreds so ones tens and hundreds so we have moved from two digits from two digits ones and tens it's called two digits now from ones two digits we have move on to three digits and slowly by the end of the year we'll be moving on to four digits that is slowly all right so hundreds now since we have do done everything the place values we have done with two digits expanded form we have done a uh, successor predecessor successor predecessor means what comes before what comes after you have already done with two digit numbers now the same thing will be repeated with three digit numbers same thing whatever you have done so one more digit will only be uh, extended all right so let's move on with the place values that means place values meaning these these are called sorry sorry these are called place values ones tens hundred they are called place values they are also called units place values or units both they mean the same just as number and digits they mean the same the place values and units also they mean the same okay sometimes i might say place values sometimes i might say units so you don't get confused both they mean the same all right children now let's start with let's write the names of the different digits or different numbers so the first digit is called ones so we just write o for ones for tens we just write t and for 100 we just write h for 100 all right and then we write the uh, i'm going to give you the numbers here 7 6 so write the place value place value place value meaning where does it okay place value of 6 let me underline 6 i'm underlining 6 here so what is the place value place value means where under which unit does it stand okay what does this 6 tens mean and how do i write 6 tens that is what it means by place value okay place value meaning under which unit it stands and what does that unit or this place value tells you about how to write the number All right so here i have underlined 6 so what will be the place place value of 6 so 6 i have underlined so you write 6 here all right and after 6 there is one number that means 1 0 after tens how many place values are there one place value isn't it or one digit so 1 0 for that so 6 tens means 16 so you write a 6 tens as 6 0 16 all right 6 tens means 6 0 16 if you have 7 tens then what will it what will it be it will be 7 0 17 If I have eight tens, then it will be like, for example, sorry. If I have eight, if you have eight tens, that means it will be eight zero eighty. If I have nine, nine meaning it will be nine zero ninety. All right. So that is it. So you have six here, and I'd underline six. So six stands under tens. So six tens means sixty. All right. Now. Next number. This is how you write the place value. Six zero sixty. This is the place value. Okay, children. This is the place value. You also have face value. Face value. Face. The face value. What would be the face value? 
that means which number is under tens that means face value tells you about which number that is under tens that means which number is under tens six is under tens isn't it so you just have to write six here only six face value is six and uh, place value will be six zero sixteen all right this is how you write next if i tell you if i underline seven now find the place value find the place value of seven that means what will you write place value of seven will be you write seven here okay and after seven how many places are there how many units are there how many place values are there two one two so you write one zero two zeros seven zero zero that means seven hundred you can also write seven and you can spell it out h u n d r e d that also you can write both ways you can write but this will be easy all right so 700 zero, zero, and what will be the face value face value will be the number itself the number itself which is under 100 so you just write 7 here all right so this is how you write the place value okay and if i underline 2 if i underline 2 that means we have to write Two, okay. Place value will be two, but and after two, after two is under ones, isn't it? Two is under ones. So after ones, is there any other place value? Is there any other unit after ones? Is there another unit? No. So no unit, no place, no number after two. So no zero. So you just write two. All right. And the face value will also be the number itself, which is under ones. That is two. Understood children? So this is how you do place value. Alright. Now this is it. The same thing we did in with two digit number that I had explained it in detail. Alright. You just now we are just adding one more zero. That's all. Okay. Now let's do expanded form also. Today we'll be doing place value and expanded form. Okay. Now look at this. I have this rubber band here. You know rubber band? It's a small rubber band, yes? It's a small rubber band. Now see what happens when I stretch it out. See what is happening to this rubber band. See, it's becoming long. It's the same rubber band. When I leave it, it becomes small like this. But I, when I pull it, when I stretch it, the same rubber band, it seems to be long. Isn't it? Isn't it becoming long? Yes. But when I leave it, it's the same rubber band, but it, it's short. When I stretch it, look here. I want to stretch it, but I'm scared it will break. So I stretch it and it becomes long, but it is the same rubber band which I had it before. It's the same thing. With this explanation, I want to explain what is expanded form. Now, expanded form, expanded form. What is expanded form? Expanded form means the same thing same number which you are going to stretch stretch and make it long it's the same number which you are going to stretch and make it long all right now if i give you now this expanded form also we have done it with two digit numbers we just have to add now we did with two digit numbers before but here i just want to add one more number and make it three digit numbers but the process the way you do it is the same what you did for two digit numbers. All right. Now, before we do that, I insist you, I tell you, I uh, make it an, a point to tell you that um, I make it a point to make you write that the number, the place values, the units has to be written on top of the numbers. Why? It will help you. Why am I telling you, insisting you to write the place values like this one? Like ones, tens, hundred. I keep telling you. I repeatedly tell you to write the place values. You can do without it also. But you have to keep writing. Make it a habit of writing the place values now. Because this place value, it will help you in many other exercises. It will make you work easy. And it will make you understand better if you write the place values. Okay. So you can do without writing the place values. But I insist you to write the place values now initial stage because it will make your work easy. 
all right now in expanded form the same number i'm going to stretch it before when you were doing with two digits you just did with two numbers with one zero now you just have to add one more number but the process is same so let's start with the last number that is under 100 so what is the number under 100 six okay and after six how many place values are there or how many digits are there so one two so one zero two zeros all right now you add the 600 okay with the next number after 100 what is no, uh, the number which comes before 100 tens so what is the number under tens seven okay and after tens how many digits are there or how many place values or how many units are there one isn't it? after seven only one digit is there or only one unit is there or only one place value is there so that means one zero okay and this again we add with the last number that is under ones what is the number under ones four so you write four here and after four after ones do you have any more place value do you have any more number no do you have another place value no do you have another unit no so no zero when you don't have anything after this number no zero all right so this is how you write the expanded form see i stretched it i made it long stretched it i made it the same number it's 674 same thing but i stretched it and made it long okay so till class two you were doing from here these two numbers you were doing now here just one more number you have to add all right you would do it you did till here last year now you just added one more number that's it okay that means one zero you were doing now this year you have to do with two zeros that's all all right so when you add this 600 plus 70 plus what is the last number four so if you add all these numbers let's see whether you get this or not 600 okay let me show you the stick 600 600 70 70 and 4 let's see which number you'll get 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 4 is 4 can you see the board 0 plus 7 I think I should do it on top thing you will not be able to see so let me write here 600 okay plus 70 70 plus 4 so let's add 0 plus 0 is 4 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 4 is 4 0 plus 7 this is ones tens and hundred again so under tens 0 plus 7 is 7 and there's no number here and under 100 you have 6 6 plus nothing plus nothing is 6 see do you need to get 6 7 4 and 6 7 4 understood so it's the same the number is the same just as this rubber band was same i just stretched it and made it long the same way the numbers are same you just need to stretch it and this is called expanded form All right children so we are going to do only these two topics today all right uh, if you have any problem you can send me video and ask me to explain it i'll be sending you the work today in the evening i'll be sending you the work which you have to do it in your textbook all right if you have a textbook you do it in a textbook otherwise you do it in your classwork or homework copy so one copy you keep it so you'll do it in that okay children so that's it for today and have a nice day